The government, through the Ministry of Mining, Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs, has directed the Department of Shipping and Maritime to recognize and enforce informal training for self-trained coxswains in beach management units nationwide. Well, this move comes as the fishing industry in Nyanza increasingly adopts motorized boats. Uh, speaking during a meeting with fishermen from Lake Victoria region, the Cabinet Secretary for Blue Economy Salim Mvuria emphasized the importance of recognizing the existing coxswains and updating their compliance without mandating formal training. On the loss of over 1 billion shillings due to fish mortality in cages, he emphasized that compliance and collaboration with the ministries of defense and interior are vital in dealing with the pollutants of the lake. In attendance at the event was ICT CS Eliud Dowala, who pledged his ministry support in establishing digital hubs at all beach management units across the country. Fishing. The last time I was here, I think fishermen lost almost a billion. Uh, and, and the other time I also saw that uh, there have been losses. The science around cage fishing is also about compliance. There are requirements that are required to be followed before you do a cage, a cage for uh, for fish. Uh, for most of them, I think uh, there has been a lot of congestion. There is also an issue of pollution, which we are also following up with other uh, government agencies because it is not true that the oxygen in Lake Victoria just decreases on its own. For a start. That Kabonyo Training Institute, I am aware uh, CS Muvuria is working on it, it will be officially launched soon. Immediately it is launched, we will come there with officials from my ministry, we will set up a digital hub there. A digital laboratory. So that the fishermen can also be digitally, uh, the work training can also be digitally enabled.